Welcome to Obscure Depths. If you've watched me before, you mostly know that Obscure Depths so far has been NFL football picks against the spread. Uh, today I just want to sound off about a couple things, a couple things that have been bothering me. Um, one, Manti Teo situation. Seriously, I don't care what's going on or who did what to who or who's dead or who's not. What I care about, they keep talking about how if this is going to affect his draft status. You know, obviously, if he is involved in this some way, it's going to affect his character. Will it affect his draft status? Probably not. Um, you know what? I don't want him. You know why? You know what affects his draft status for me? I don't want him on my NFL team because what his team and he, the supposed best linebacker in college football, did against Alabama. They looked like b boys among men. Alabama is the closest thing that you're going to get to a NFL defense and offense, and Notre Dame got slaughtered. They didn't even belong on that same field. I mean, yes, when Monte Teo goes to the NFL, he's going to be surrounded by much better athletes. He might be the only NFL defensive, might be the only NFL bound player on that defense, and he's going to have far better talent around him. But still, I mean, if I'm watching him on my on the draft board, I'm thinking about that game. I'm not I'm not thinking about his 40 time. I'm not thinking about anything besides that, how he looked. He was rendered basically useless against that Alabama offense. That's what affects Monte Teo's, Monte Teo's draft status for me. Um, I don't care what happens in this whole situation. Um, I'm sick of it just as much as I'm sick of the Lance Armstrong situation. I might even want to talk about Lance Armstrong. I can't believe I just said his name twice. Somebody should tell Lance Armstrong he's back in the Tour de France, fly him to Antarctica with his bike uniform on and his bike and just leave him there as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, Lance Armstrong, damn you for ruling the airwaves for the whole, all week. Damn you. Um, a couple other things. Um, some things that maybe slipped through the cracks this week, or last week I should say. Um, that the Major League Baseball, Major League Baseball uh, decided not to vote anybody into the Hall of Fame. Uh, wow, whatever. Um, there's obviously some huge questions, and I wrote an article on that. It's going to be up on DakotaSportsFM.com sometime next week. Um, but a couple of players that slipped through the cracks, uh, Bernie Williams, in his first year of eligibility, didn't get, didn't get the 5%, so he's now rendered ineligible. I can't believe no Yankees fans are up in arms about that. Um, and a couple other guys that were up for the first time, too, that didn't get in were Steve Finley and Reggie Sanders. Reggie Sanders is and Steve Finley, excuse me, are both of a, part of an exclusive club. There's I think there's only five or six players in MLB history who hit, who've hit 300 home runs and stolen 300 bases. Reggie Sanders and Steve Finley are two of those six. I mean, it's it's some pretty harsh company, awesome company, I should say. Barry Bonds, Willie May. Let's see if I still have it on my phone here. Yep. Sorry. But yeah, I mean, I just maybe that alone, for me, is that not reason enough? I mean, they're they're part of only six players in MLB history to do such a thing. I mean, I just think that's crazy, but I, but they, they too were among, like Bernie Williams. They didn't get the 5%, so they're not going to be eligible to get into the Baseball Hall of Fame. I, I just can't believe, I'm not necessarily, I think they maybe should be Hall of Famers. I mean, whatever, it's up to these writers, and who knows. You know, they, did, they were a part of the steroid era, but that's a whole other issue, and I'm not going to get into that right now. But listen to this. Barry Bonds, Willie Mays, Andre Dawson, Bobby Bonds, Reggie Sanders, Steve Finley, Alex Rodriguez, and Carlos Beltran. Yes, Reggie Sanders and Steve Finley might shine in, in that statement of those players as people who should not be in the Hall of Fame. But those are the only people in Major League Baseball who have done that. I mean, that's what, eight people? I don't know. Anyway... That's just what's on my mind this morning. Uh, thanks for listening. Have a great day.